Well, I'm John Beebe, and I had my first MBTI uh, examination of my type uh, in 1968 as part of a research project, and I scored ENTP, which seemed to accord with what I had also been learning in Jungian analysis, which I began in the fall of 1965 and early on I had already realized I was an intuitive type uh, with inferior uh, sensation. Gradually during the 1970s the rest of my typology became clear including what it meant to have auxiliary introverted thinking and tertiary extroverted feeling above all inferior introverted sensation and sometime in the uh, late 1970s or early 1980s I took the MBTI again and once again I scored ENTP. So the MBTI and Jungian analysis happened to agree in my case. almost unlimited. Even the various syndromes that we speak of nowadays as psychiatric syndromes will turn out to be aspects of the undeveloped or shadow functions showing themselves in pathological ways simply because um, they haven't been integrated. Uh, and there's so much we can learn. If we all became psychologically literate, we would be a lot smarter uh, in the field of psychiatry than we are today. Unfortunately, psychiatrists are too quick to turn lack of development into disease. And I would much prefer that we uh, took disease as more of uh, a sign that development is needed. The most important consequence is that we lose our access point to the greater S self from which we draw personality and uh, energy. So all I have to be is living out of my opposing personality or one of my other shadow personalities. Um, and I may not be able to access the transpersonal self and so I will find myself without energy. I, without, I won't have, a, it's sort of like a plug that isn't plugged in properly. Now, getting oneself plugged in properly requires that one be true to one's native type and not be like Faust. We must not sell out simply because other people want us to be a certain type. The truth is, though, we all sell out to some degree because uh, we want to please our father or our mother or our teacher at school or our community or our organization or perhaps the country in which we live. And every country has certain type preferences. There's a kind of politics among the eight function attitudes, which are in and which are out. And very often people will falsify their type because that's what they're supposed to be like. And sometimes gender gets into it. This is what a man is supposed to be like, or this is what a woman is supposed to be like. And people who are not really like that will pretend to be like that because they want to be pleasing to the expectations. So it takes a rather great deal of courage sometimes to dare to be yourself and you may not be able to please as many other people. You may not be what your culture prefers, but you will find that if you really allow yourself to be yourself, your true self is like the plug that plugs into the current of the wider self, which gives us all energy. And that's a great thing to be able to say, that you are enough yourself that you can get this energy. Those that are not enough themselves 
can get very tired very quickly because it takes it takes away energy to try to be someone you are.